Hi guys, and I hope you know that uh, we have released our app Simply Pediatrics on Google Play Store, and you can find the link in the description below. And you will see the full version of this video in the app. This is just a short video to show you how the app uh, app has and what videos does the app. Contain so uh, this is just a part of a larger video and the whole video you can assess it in the app. I hope you like the video. Hello everyone, welcome to another lecture and today we'll discuss something about basics of ataxia and it will be a superficial lecture and we'll try to uh, cover as much as possible and differentiate uh, between the different forms of ataxia and the causes of ataxia. So let us begin our lecture. So. What is ataxia? So ataxia is ataxia is disturbance disturbance of fine motor control fine motor control of posture and movement. <clears throat> so ataxia is usually a disturbance of fine motor control of posture and movement and due to the loss of fine motor control you might see that the activity is like i uh, you know the activity is grossly grossly normal but uh, the fine motor control or the finesse in the movement is absolutely absent and due to which uh, you know it might seem that the person is in intoxicated so that is you know primarily the definition of ataxia now ataxia can be due to abnormalities in either cerebellum cerebellum posterior column or vestibular system and the connections of these three so <laughs> there might be a problem in these three or its connections so uh, anywhere either so total it comes out to be six causes so anywhere either the course of these three might be abnormal and due to which we have ataxia so what are we we'll, uh, put up a summary table to differentiate between cerebellar cause sensory cause sensory cause is usually due to abnormality in the posterior pathway the tract of gall and the tract of burda the posterior column pathways uh, that are abnormal which causes sensory sensory ataxia so these are the primary three reasons or you know differentiation for ataxia okay so Firstly, uh, the ataxia, the nature of the ataxia in a cerebellar is truncal ataxia. Truncal ataxia or it might be a limb involvement or a, a appendicial involvement. So limb might be involved or there might be truncal ataxia. While in sensory, it is only limb. There is no truncal ataxia because, uh, uh, you know, uh, in cerebellar system, there is truncal ataxia because it is the central path. While in posterior column, trunk is usually not involved. While in the central nervous vestibular abnormality, it might be only truncal and usually the limbs are not involved. Now, the second feature is dysarthria. So, dysarthria is present in cerebellar abnormality or cerebellar ataxia, but it is not seen in sensory and vestibular uh, abnormality because as you know, uh, dysarthria is a feature of cerebellar dysfunction and it is usually not seen with the other things. Nystagmus, 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 as you know, nystagmus is associated with cerebellar ataxia while it is absent with sensory ataxia because sensory ataxia is usually peripheral involvement. So it is absent while uh, nystagmus is present with vestibular uh, ataxia and you know cows. Uh, cold on the opposite side and warm on the same side. The movement of the uh, vestibular stimulation test will show you cows and <coughs> uh, vestibular system also has nystagmus. Now, a vertigo. Vertigo is a feeling that the world is rotating or pura dunya hil raha hai. It is a feeling where you feel that your surroundings are uh, actually ataxic. That is the feeling. Uh, 
uh, you know, when you see a ataxic person, the person is swaying here and there. But to that person, if the world is also swaying here and there, it is known as vertigo. And vertigo is absent in, uh, you know, cerebellar form. It is also absent in sensory form, but it is always present in the uh, involvement of the vestibular system. Hypotonia. Hypotonia with brisk DTR is the hallmark of cerebellar involvement. And hypotonia is uh, hypotonia with brisk DTR is the uh, you know it is usually diagnostic of cerebellar involvement or cerebellar issues. Okay, so hypotonia is seen in cerebellar involvement and DTR is brisk or pendular or hung up knee jerk. Uh, it is brisk or pendular, but you see, pendular is a very subjective phenomena. So usually we'll call it brisk. Here it is absent. DTR is absent, while here in vestibular it is normal. Romberg sign. Romberg sign is absent in cerebellar uh, involvement, while it is present in sensory ataxia, and it is absent in uh, this vestibular involvement. What is Romberg sign? When the, the person close up uh, the eyes, the patient will fall off or not. So with the closing of the sensory stimulation, if the patient experiences falling down, then it is called as Romberg sign positive. And this occurs due to loss of proprioception senses. And vibration and position sense <clears throat> or the proprioception sense here in cerebellar it is normal in sensory it is absent or absolutely ab abnormal and here it is normal in vestibular involvement because a joint position and sensation is 